Yeah. And welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. And I'm Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. And Ron is away from the desk celebrating her birthday today. Whether you're grilling, a grilling master, looking for recipe inspirations, or just learning the rope, one thing is true peak grilling season is upon us, and we've got some perfect information on some techniques and some great ways to make your next grilling opportunity better. Miami native and celebrity chef Chris Valdez is joining us here to talk about taking your cookout to the next level. Want to uh, give a shout out to Mazzola Oil. They're part of uh, bringing this exciting segment to you and how you can make it good. Now, Chris, we don't turn down nothing but our collars around here, especially when it comes to food. Uh, what, what's going on right now in the world of grilling as we get into the heat of it? Hey, let me tell you, right now in the world of grilling, we're cranking up those grills and getting ready for a summer grilling season. Uh, and here in Miami, we're always looking for ways to, to bring everyone together. And I think that the grill and the summer is a great way to do that. You've got some great things, but you're also looking at some things keeping it healthy because we so, so, so many times we talk about uh, grilling and it's that calorie bomb. It's the, the high fats, the greasy. It, it, it can be tough on you, but you've got some things like how to control those culprits of cholesterol when you hit the grill. Yeah, of course. So, you know, when I was uh, 22 years old, I remember uh, my doctor giving me some uh, tips and ideas of how I could lose weight because I was overweight at the time. And then at the age of 65, my mom had a stroke. So oh. it really focused a little more on the type of ingredients we were using, the type of diets that we were leading with our lifestyle. And just in general, it, it's what started this, this uh, journey that we're on now. So um, one of the ways that I changed that, especially in my Latin cooking, is with um, <clears throat> by swapping some things in the kitchen. For example, instead of frying, uh, baking, or in this case, grilling, and then using ingredients like masola corn oil, uh, which is a uh, cholesterol free and it's also has a check mark by the american heart association so just making little changes here and there that make such a big difference in the kitchen and in our health yeah and you, you like you mentioned your hispanic heritage we see the numbers are quite high both in the african-american population and the hispanic community when we talk about heart issues and heart diseases heart, mm -hmm. what what are some heart healthy alternatives we can look at when we hit the, the grill some heart healthy alternatives is just again swapping those ingredients and using healthier items like masola corn oil and just using natural and healthier ingredients i think a lot of times we let uh, the processed foods and the commercials mm -hmm. get us, and what we see like what looks like amazing food but it's it's not um mm -hmm. also i think it's starting to cook more at home nowadays there's a, an app for everything right but how about you know we the old old-fashioned way of going to the supermarket picking up some of our favorite ingredients favorite vegetables and just cooking at home bringing a friend bringing a girlfriend bringing uh, your family together and just cooking together and making um a, a creation at home that you know what's going in your food you know what you're adding you know what mm -hmm. you're using versus up these items that are filled with with all sorts of you know processed items so definitely just keeping it at home and in the family I noticed that you got a whole lot of peppers involved in that stuff right there. <laughs> hey, uh huh, huh, that looks good to me, I'll tell you. Is tell that us, uh, about a couple of those uh, grilled Latin pork chops with the uh, garlic cilantro, chimichurri, and some of the other great recipes you put together. So uh, today I'm making two dishes for you. And by the way, before I start with the dishes, uh, these peppers, pop them in the grill while you're making these dishes. And the sweetness that these peppers uh, bring to the table is just scrumptious. And it's one of my favorite uh, items to grill with. But today I'm making for you a cilantro chimichurri pork chop. Mm. And uh, one of the things about these pork chops, yeah, pork chops are whoa. And it, they're definitely one of the favorites in the grilling kitchen. Uh, we're going to be marinating and finishing up our uh, pork chops with the cilantro chimichurri and one of my tips is to marinate these bad boys overnight that way you can make sure that you're getting the most flavor out of them uh then uh, who doesn't love tacos especially in the summertime so and uh, why am i lying to you winter time <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to be making some chipotle uh, adobo chicken al pastor tacos with a pineapple pico de gallo and oh. another 
great tip that I have for you here is everyone is always rushing to eat their meat right after it comes out of the grill. So my tip is allow your meat to rest for about 10 minutes to allow those juices to redistribute and you're going to end up with a much juicier and flavorful protein item. Oh, wow. That pineapple pico de gallo sounds great. I, 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 it's not too hot and spicy. It's, it's just got the right amount of kick. You're not using uh, ghost peppers or anything like that. Those are really sweet peppers you have in front of you, right? So, yes, these are sweet peppers, but for my pico de gallo, I actually use jalapenos. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you want it uh, spicy, you can leave the seeds. If you don't want it as spicy, omit the seeds or... You could just swap it out for one of these sweet peppers, and this is not going to bring any uh, heatness at all. But, you know, a little heat here and there is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> you get your warmed up. Chris, uh, you, you mentioned something I think is very important. I, I recently have lost some weight uh, for health reasons and need to get healthier, and that was one of the biggest important things I did was we, we hear about processed food, but they're super processed food where you take two or more processed items, combine them together. You may think you're eating healthier, but you're really just making a super processed food. Uh, I, I like the idea of uh, fresh, going to the store, picking up your ingredients, making from scratch, cooking it yourself. I, I think that's an important part of staying a healthy daily lifestyle. It's a very important part. And I, I, I love that word you just created, super processed food. Uh, yes. I've never heard of that. Yes, it's, it's true. We, we get consumed by the beautiful pictures uh, that we see on TV or, or even in the market when we see these items. And sometimes we don't even think about it. A, a great example is years ago, I saw someone make a donut sandwich, a breakfast donut sandwich. Yeah. And it's a processed food uh, combined in one that you wouldn't even know it. It has over a thousand calories, that one breakfast item. So uh, it's a good thing you bring that up. Wow. Well, wow. it, it's amazing. And it, it just, it, it, it's not, like I said, we're not trying to deny you great food. I mean, you've got two great dishes you can make quite easily there, but it's, it's your choices. The choices you make day to day make a big difference in your health. Chris, thank you so much for your time. I'm glad to hear your mother is recovering well, and you've uh, kind of put your stake in, in having a healthier lifestyle. Thank you for sharing this great information and want to thank Mazzola for being part of this Big summer grilling season and being a part of it. Thank you for some great recipes, Chris Chef. Thank you so much. And grab these recipes at Mazzola.com. Mazzola.com is a place to get your summer grilling into high gear. Take care, Chris. Have a great day. Sure, have a great one. Thanks again. Thank you, Chef. Uh -huh.